Hello and welcome to Security. This is a continuation of the TriHack Me Mitre Room. And we'll be continuing from here we left off in the last video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the task for is the car knowledge base, which is the cyber analytics repository. And um, this is talking about um, analytics by usually used by log um, analytics software like Sims, Splunk for example. And um, so, yeah, the task is to read through, read through and answer the subsequent questions. So, um, it says for the above analytic, what is the pseudocode representation of? So, um, one thing I kind of like got mistaken with the, at first was I thought I thought it was talking about this one, which is a car 2014-11-004. But apparently, if you click on hint, you see it's talking about the 2020-09-001, which is this one that was um, talked about at the beginning. So you open it up in a new tab. I already did, but you can still open it up in a new tab. And um, you just read through it. You see, in order to gain persistence, um, privilege, escalation, or remote execution, I you may use the Windows task scheduler to schedule its command to run a specific time, data, or an even host task scheduler stores task as files in two locations and um, this analytic looks for the creation of tax files in these two locations so if we scroll through um this you see what is it, it says the pseudo code is representation representation of the splunk search so And the question is, what for the for the above analytic, what is the pseudocode representation of? So it is a the strong search. So it says what tactic has an ID of TA0003. And um, if we go here on that tactics, we can open each of them in a new tab to see which of them has that. That, um, that ID. So this is TA004, which is privilege escalation. That's not it. Execution has T0, A002, and persistence has TA003. So persistence is the answer. So the next task says, what is the name of the library that is the collection of the B, Zig BRO script, BRO script? And if you click hints, it says check the main page. So what you do is you go to here, and to go back to the main page, you click Mita Cyber Analytics Rep Repository. And um, what well, you can search for, you can search for library. And you can see analytics source code libraries. Some analytics are built as source code for specific products. In this case, this code might be, code might support a broad set of detections in a way that makes it hard to describe a set of distinct ana analytics. For this type of analytics, Rather than integrating them into the main um, car site, we've collected them under a library of implementations. Currently, the only library is BZR, a collection of Zig BRO scripts, looking primarily at SMB and RPC traffic. So that's the answer. So we'll put, it, put that in. What is the name of the technique for running executables with the same hash file and different names? Okay, so the next task is. Um, what is the name of the techniques for running executables with the same hash and different names? So where do you get that? That, that, that it says check the full analytics list. So if you click on, go back to the main page and um, we scroll back to the top, you can see full analytics list. And what we're looking for again is um, running executables with the same hash and different names. So, we're talking attack techniques. Um, so, we say, you can see right here, it says running executables with the same hash and different names. And that technique is what masquerading, attack technique is masquerading. So that is the answer.
So the next question is examine this um, analytic. What additional information is provided to analysts to ensure coverage for this technique? So you can copy this and um, or we could just look for it right here, 2013-05-04, which is um, this. So we have it execution with AT, and it says, it says examine this analytic and what additional information is provided to analysts to ensure coverage for this technique. So we click on the analytics, and we go to, we just look for the um, see car 2013-05-04 and I click on it. So yeah, if you scroll down to the bottom, you see unit tests and um, although it doesn't really specify, yeah, that is uh, additional information provided. So with that, we're done with the tax for on the cyber analytics framework and we go next to the shield active defense. And we will take it up from here in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.